Good morning. Welcome to a brand new day. Welcome to day 16 of the Forgiving Challenge. We are approaching the halfway point. I'm glad to have you with us this morning as we uh, gather around our challenge. How's your reading going? Are you keeping pace with the days? Are you having to play catch-up occasionally? I know I had to play some catch-up. I took a couple of days off there for a little bit, and um, and I caught up, and I'm back in rhythm now with everyone else, um, so that's kind of exciting to be back in that place. You know, if you've slipped a couple of days, it's all right. It's all right. You can catch up. Just read it up, and, you know, maybe do one in the morning, one at night, whatever it takes to to catch up and get caught up. Um, Today, as we continue our conversation about confession and the importance of confession, um, we come back to our uh, story, um, our infamous chapter 21, where Jesus asks Peter um, a third time. uh, Listen to this uh, text for today. John 21, um, do-do-do-do-do-do. Verse uh, 17, he said to him a third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was grieved because he said to him the third time, do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, feed my sheep. Lord, you know everything. You know that I messed up. You know what my sin is, even that sin that I have trouble talking about, that sin that I just don't, I don't want to think about anymore. I've, I've done whatever it took to put it behind me, whether it's to justify it or forget about it or run from it. But see, God comes and, and he says, I... I know, Peter, but I want to hear it from you. He knows our sin, but he he wants from us to confess our sins because he knows the importance and the value that comes from going through that action and being able to say, I'm sorry. And, And to hear God say to us, I forgive you. You know, the story is told of Corey Ten Boom one day being faced after having spent years in uh, Ravenswood prison camp where her sister Betsy died uh, under the hand of the Nazis. And one day, a soldier, former German soldier, comes into one of the places where she is speaking and she sees him in the back of the room and he comes forward at the end of the time and She knows who it is. He was one of the harshest men in the camp. She holds him personally responsible for Betsy, her sister's death. And he comes and he seeks to shake her hand, to receive her forgiveness. And the story is told that she freezes and and she says, "I, I don't think I can do this. And she doesn't want to do this. She doesn't want to shake his hand. She doesn't want to forgive him. But she does. See, Corey Ten Boom found out that the one who was being held prisoner by this lack of forgiveness was not the man. It was her. By failing to forgive upon his confession, upon his asking for forgiveness, She was the one held captive. See, God asks us to confess our sins because he knows it's the best thing for us. So I pray today that you're having a good day. Uh, Let's see, this is uh, Wednesday. Monday, it was 60 degrees and sunny here. Yesterday, by noon, it had dropped drastically. Uh, By uh, 4 o'clock, it was snowing. The wind was blowing. Uh, Wednesday, it's going to be really chilly. And then by this weekend, we could be near 70. 
we're going to get to experience all the seasons of one rolled into this week. It's sort of like the forgiving challenge. We get all of this stuff rolled into one. We, we hear about our sin. We confess our sin. We receive absolution. We receive restoration from God, and we live a new sanctified life. So as we continue this journey, this challenge, this change, I I hope you're still with us. I hope you're coming along through the slog and that you're learning some things along the way, things you didn't know before. Well, let's take a moment and pray as we begin our day. And and I really would love to hear from you. Go ahead and uh, send me an email. Uh, let me know how you're doing. Text me. Uh, respond in the comments. See how your journey's going. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day, another day filled with your grace and your mercy. We pray that you would be with us on this day, that you would uh, confront us with our sin, that you would remind us that if we confess our sins, how many times do we have to say this? You are faithful and just and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let those words echo over and over and over and over in our heads. In the name of Jesus, amen. Be forgiven, be at peace, drink some coffee, Diet Coke, uh, whatever it is that uh, floats your boat today, and um, have a great day. And uh, we'll see you next time we turn this doohiggy on and record again. Be blessed.